Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna have a quick panel discussion now. Basically, you can ask your question to any of these three uh, awesome communicators, if I should dare say uh, myself. Uh, I'll try to I'll, I'll try to moderate and basically uh, practice what Jasmina has uh, has shared what and what uh, Frida has shared as well. So I will cut you off if you start going. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> and again, please, a round of applause for our three speakers. I'm, I'm full of questions too, but I'm going to give you a chance uh, to grill our panel experts. Anybody would like to? Yes. All right. I have a question. Actually, two questions for you, yeah. Serena. I think I'm asking on behalf of many of you here. One, how do you start a conversation when you said that you challenge yourself? Mm -hmm. And two, like, what is the reasonable amount of time to talk to someone on, on, a, on, a, a, on a first conversation? Strategy? Yes. No, not an exit strategy. Well, but yeah. when is it too long or when is it too short? Okay. Um, how do you start a conversation really big with me? So the first point where you say prepare yourself because it depends who you're talking to and what event you're at. So let's say you're at a seminar, for instance, where there are already topics at hand. Then you can base it on those topics. It's a, it's a break, it's a coffee break after. Then bring up any of those topics and say, hi, introduce yourself. Because those are networking events already. All those seminars, everyone's introducing themselves. Hi, which company are you at? I'm so and so. What were your thoughts on that, that topic? That's in a seminar situation. If it's just a complete social event situation, it's a bit more difficult to kind of approach someone at random if it's a complete stranger. In those kind of uh, situations, I actually prefer a mutual connection to kind of introduce you. But we're talking more networking events. If it's networking events, you can just introduce yourself. I'm from this company and so on. Yeah. Um, if not, talk about current affairs. Um, if uh, it's your first conversation with that person, how long, it actually varies. You kind of have to gauge when you're in that conversation. Because if that person that you're talking to is really interested in what you're saying, yes, you want to keep them wanting more, but you don't want to keep it abrupt where it's only um, five minutes into the conversation and then you move on to the next one. Because it's getting good. The conversation is getting very insightful. So you have to kind of gauge yourself in those situations. But if it's in a big group conversation, there's a lot of people, I would say about five minutes, let someone else take the floor. Yeah. But please don't like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Frida, I think, I think you have some experience in this because you do a lot of PR for the See, dark that's side. The, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah I used to work for an IT company for IBM. Um, small, 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 so much about you, you know. There must, there must. You know, I can. I always feel like I can learn from everybody I meet, and and when you have that attitude, then you know, it, it just makes it easy. If you just keep asking questions about that person, you'll find that you learn so many things from anyone who's four to eighty-two. You know, they've got different experiences with them, and they tell me more. And they, a lot of people will usually tell you more. Awesome. Next question. Food. Uh, how do you approach somebody famous in a, in a conference or an event? Uh, for example, uh, uh, Steve Jobs, if he's still alive. Bad example. And you just see the book, the old guy that's in the book. Like, you know everything about him, right? Like, how do you talk to him? Like, you know, talk about something and you know the answer already, right? Uh, like, like, how, Why do you, you pretend that you don't know the answer? <laughs> but you know most of the stuff, right? But that helps to maintain a conversation. Like, so do you pretend not to know the answer? Or you just... Sorry, uh, can you turn on the lights? Okay. <laughs> oh, switch on all the lights, yes. Oh, there it is. 
You can figure it out, it's not that hard. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe like Walter. Walter. Yeah, what's, what's the most famous Walter person you've approached? Well, the most it has been through connections. Uh, I find that if I don't really have, you know, I don't regard a famous person as somebody else than a non-famous person. Often in these big, you know, I go to a lot of conferences and there's, you know, founder of MySQL, whatever, you know, these are guys that have done considerable things for our industry. And I, I ask myself the question, why would he want to talk to me and why would I want to talk to this person? If there is a really something that I want to ask him or, you know, something that I really want his input on, then I'd definitely go to him and uh, I'll ask him the question. But if it's a, a question like, hey, uh, how did you uh, uh, found MySQL? Yeah, it's not really interesting because I already know the answer. So, you know, yeah, you, if you, you know, these people, they have, if you don't have anything remarkable to ask them, they're not going to remember you. So what's the point of going there and talk to them in the first place? You'd rather find someone else in the room who's much more interesting, but you know, you, you might not know them. Hmm. Just you know. Mm, I do agree with you where he says you shouldn't differentiate them that way. This is a famous person, this yeah. is not a famous person. Um, anyone who I've met who is a well-known person or a very reputable um, dignitary or anything like that, um, you don't really treat them as if they are. Don't hold a shrine to them and I can say, oh, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Well, you can say you're a huge fan, but don't put them on that pedestal. Treat them like you're having a normal conversation with someone and don't ask them something that you know the answer to. If it is something that everyone knows the answer to, it's just facts, general knowledge about that person. Because I'm sure you have a million other questions. If it's someone you idolize, aren't there other questions that you want answers to? That would be the opportunity to bring it up to them. Um, I, I, just, I interviewed this guy, he's known as the podfather, this guy, he's the podfather. He popularized podcasts and all that, but he actually wrote some. He wrote some. He wrote something um, about Apple or whatever, and it was that kind of form. And he said he said he got an email from Steve Jobs to say because he disagreed with something he said. So that was that was one way. I'm just, I'm just I, can't, I can't remember. So what would I do with that? Yeah, like I, I don't. You don't put people in a pedestal. Mm -hmm. um, no, they're all humans. We all, you know. Unless you have something concrete to say or whatever. Well, I mean, really, big fan. Hi, you know, it's a, such a pleasure to meet you. And, you know, just want to say hello. Can I take a photo with you? You know, so, <laughs> yeah. so I, I'll, if I remember an incident. Also, I find that sometimes uh, it can be interesting to talk about something completely unrelated to what they are the authority yeah. on. You know, I met this guy who was also, you know, uh, founder of a company that has been in business for 30 years and made millions of dollars and we talked about traveling because I love traveling and it's you know something that I enjoy really a lot next to what my business is and we had a very good conversation for like 20 minutes which probably would have ended in like one minute if I talked to him about something tech because this guy knows like 300 times more than I do. <laughs> for me <clears throat> it's about being authentic. Um, Okay, I'll be very honest with you. I'm, I'm actually quite ignorant sometimes. Like, uh, I don't really know who are the famous people sometimes. I mean, obviously, the obvious one, I know. La. But <laughs> you, all, you all know that since I've done webcam and going to. Uh, I'm just being honest with you guys. So, uh, attending, attending events and stuff, just being authentic. Uh, basically, the stuff that Frida shared and, and, and Jasrina shared as well. You're, you're out there, you want to connect to as many people as you can. Uh, and and true, true enough, the true story here is that when you're authentic and, and you follow what Jasuna says about socializing and, and, and being in a business situation, so obviously I've got a few questions about, for me the, the, the difficult part is exit strategy. But to answer your, your question, the famous people part. So I have had situations where it is somebody famous and I really didn't have anything to, I mean, I know that they're famous, but I, I didn't have anything interesting to do, but, but I wanted to take a picture and just go there, hey, you know, I, 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 would you mind taking a picture with me? You know, again, just being honest and genuine. I said, would you mind taking, you know, I, I really like your work. I really like what you do. You know, you don't mind taking a picture with me. I mean, sometimes it can be as simple as that. And if the conversation steers to, oh, oh, sure, and then what do you do? You know, if, if, if the person opens it up like that, then you, you respond to that again, honestly, rather than, uh, right? Uh, but again, if that famous person is busy or whatever, and just doesn't re reciprocate, but just lets you take a picture, which is a good PR thing to do anyway, uh, you know, then, then, then take the hint and say, oh, okay, you know, move on. 
Um, but in a networking social thing, I have been like just you know injecting myself in the conversation and stuff with somebody, and then later on somebody says, "Oh my God, do you know who that person was?" And I'm like, "Oh no, I didn't know." And I'm like, oh, he's like you know, so and so and so. So I, I've had a lot of experiences like this, and and to me sometimes it's like you know, and, and after I go, "Wow, that's, that's that was cool," and then you know, and, and, and we connect, and then we you know we, we stay in touch. I think those are much more better type of relationships and connections than. Oh my God, that, that's Eric Schmidt, you know. Or, oh my God, that's Tim Cook, you know. Uh, so maybe the secret for me, maybe the secret for me is that <laughs> if you really wanted to know that person, pretend like you don't know them, and see whether there's an opportunity to have a conversation and, 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 and inject yourself into it. But for me, it's that like, it's, it's just it's just genuine ignorance. Like I didn't know that they were famous. They just being myself. <laughs> I have I have a question about recovery, yes. right? Like. Uh, you mentioned yeah. that, that question. So what do you do, right? I find that I tend to ask this a lot of the wrong people. It's like it's like going to BFM and meeting Frida and going like, so Frida, how did you? <laughs> 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 you don't say. I, I, I do this a lot, right? I mean, it's led to some very interesting conversations, um, and people will remember you forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> okay, but sometimes they get a little pissed off, <laughs> like like. So, so how, how, what would you do to recover? Obviously, I'm not going to prevent because it's happening all the time. But what would you do to recover? What, what, what would the four of you do to recover from this situation? Interesting question. Mm. Any little joke? That doesn't work so well. Wait, wait, I have a question. You say this to the same people or first contact. when the first contact? First contact. Ah, uh, it's happened. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? If, okay, if because if it's the first contact. You can be excused because yeah. maybe you genuinely like you are ignorant. Like what? Yeah, yeah. You should have been the first time, but sometimes but there are repeats. Oh my god! I don't know how that. Say <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't recognize it. I, I think, I, I, I think if it's repeat and the guys, the guy or girl still interested in you, you're onto something. <laughs> <laughs> I never realized that. It's usually like local artists or like like like. Uh, you know, business, like high-end business people, and I'm attending their events. Like, for me, uh, I have a very horrible memory for faces and a very horrible memory for names, so it puts me in a lot of very embarrassing situations. But, I look know. forward to introducing myself again and again. <laughs> so that's the way it is. I mean, I cannot change who I am, and uh, usually the name uh, escapes me very quickly because I'm usually busy getting a first impression from a person, and I find that much more relevant than their name, even though they might not, they might be embarrassed, uh, say, uh, uh, yeah, annoyed that fact that I couldn't even remember the name, but you know that's the way it is. And I tell them honestly, and then they, usually people laugh and say, "Yeah, yeah, whatever." That's what everybody says. But you know, for me, this is the case, and I have to live with that, and it's fine. Yeah, Honestly, but, I, sorry, I can't remember. You know, we, I know we met. The face looks familiar. Yeah. I really can't remember your name. Okay. Again, I was going to answer that question. <laughs> Again, I think, I think again, the, what I said, authentic, being genuinely interested, that helps. I, I think that bails, bails us out. I, I know, you know, that bails you out because, you know, yes, I, yeah, sorry, I forgot you again. Yeah, 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 you're like Prime Minister of Malaysia, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I know you're, you know, but, but again, if you're genuinely like, interested, you know, and just, and just, and just being authentic again, you're, you're safe, genuine, relatively safe. And then watch out for the queue, like if the guy's like, Fuck you, like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, take the hint. Right? So, so the, the the last time the, the highest profile one I had so far was when I was with Air Asia. Mm. I asked the CEO of Air Asia, that's what he did. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we were seated on the bus on the way to work. So, that, but it was an awkward forty minutes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a boss. I mean, now he remembers me. Every time he sees me, he's like, Hey, Kevin. <laughs>
I feel that's that's what I've had in my experience. And I'm, I've asked really embarrassing questions when I've been unprepared. I've been like given an interview and had to go and try to Google about them in my on my phone on the way. But and it's been awkward. But you stick to kind of questions that um, that like you 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 don't need any research for. So like. Like this is, I work in Singapore, so I was like, have you tried chili crab? You don't know whether they've tried chili crab. So you know that you're asking a real question, you know they, that they have a real answer, and then you let them talk about Singapore a bit, so that gives you more information. Oh, strategy, the person acknowledges it, you go off, and he leeches onto you. And wherever you go, you can't get rid of him. He's always yeah. leeching on you. <laughs> 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 Stalker thing almost relevant, but like it's not gonna even. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, do you have any experience with that? Like, eat the freedom. Freedom. Can I get anything? No. <laughs> 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 well, I have a question for you. Yeah, since you've never been stopped, do you, you find that, that, that you miss that you never had that experience? <laughs> <laughs> no. Go ahead, Paul. Do, do, do you want me to set Harina loose? <laughs> as soon as possible but you know there's some flexibility and it doesn't I don't really have any projects that need to be delivered to clients so um, what happens usually is that I ask a freelancer like hey okay I know you cannot work for me full-time a lot of the freelancers there uh, uh, they have a full-time job so you know they need to do their stuff on the weekends or in the evenings or you know and that cannot be we cannot force them to do that every weekday or every uh, weekend you know, it needs to be a little bit flexible at least that's how I believe it so um, I, uh, I, I generally I ask them like okay I would like to have this finished uh, then and then uh, can you make that and uh, maybe um, uh, you know figure out a, a middle ground somewhere. Uh, Felix does some uh, some work for me and uh, we had a I had a situation it was very very nice. Uh, I went to um, I was going to a conference and I really wanted to have some uh, some software I had done by then. And uh, I asked him, okay, do you think you can finish by then? And uh, his response was, he said, no, I don't think I can finish it before then. And that's fine with me, because then I know where I'm at, and I, I cannot force him to work uh, faster. But I was very happy that he actually said, oh, no, I cannot finish it by then. Because that's much more useful to me than him saying, hey, uh, well, I think I can finish it, and then, you know, totally missing it, because then I go there, you know, to the last day, hoping, oh, I hope that, you know, I get the email that it's finished or whatever. And, uh, and this, uh, this way it was uh, much nicer. I think just Rina's work for, for freelancers, people, maybe do something like this. I don't, I don't really work freelancer. Oh. I work with a lot of external companies, they're not freelance. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You? Rina? Yes. Freelancers? Maybe? Any experience? Deadlines, not meeting? No? Okay. I have a question for Walter. So, the, the same question all over again. How do you find talented developers to work for you? How do I find talented? Sorry. People talented people freelancers do. Tons of freelancers. Yeah, it's a it's a tough uh, uh, world out there. Yeah, half the room. To me, it's a <laughs> it's a statistics uh, game. Uh, I meet a hundred people that are in IT. Ninety-five of them, well, ninety of them suck. <laughs> and if, oh, yeah, that's sorry, true, but, true. yeah, that's the way it is. Uh, sorry, guys. Then uh, out of the other ten, <laughs> out of the other ten, five of them know their stuff well. The other, then there's three that know their stuff really well, and then there's the two that you really want. And how do you find those? It's a statistics game. Uh, you just keep trying, uh, mingling. Uh, I, uh, I've. Uh, Boiled my uh, my interviews down to uh, one question, especially for coders. Uh, Red whole jQuery script. No, no. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, it's not uh, Online uh, chat uh, interview, and the uh, first question.
question is, show me 100 lines of code of something you wrote recently that you're proud of. 90%. It's the end of the interview. <laughs> they show me code and, come on, really? I don't where, want where that in my production. Sorry? Where do you find that? Sites? Everywhere, yeah. I, you know, I travel a lot, I go to conferences. Uh, these kind of events are brilliant for this kind of, uh, kind of thing. I found really good, really great people and, uh, um, yes, you know, I find that sometimes uh, it can also, especially for IT, uh, I've noticed this a lot in conferences and stuff, go for the people that are isolated behind their laptops. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding you, these are the people that, you know, the, as you said in your stereotype, these are the people that you actually want to have programmed for you because they're so dedicated, they go to a conference that their boss pays for, everything is done, they could go be networking, but what, what do they do? They sit there and, uh, and sit behind their laptop or they're doing work or doing something they, they want. And if, if it's a coder you want, then these are the people that you want to go for. I think I just found five guys. Okay. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Next question. Thank you for coming. Yes, Gal. Uh, this question's, I guess, for Frida and Walter. Frida, because BFM uses a lot of interns and, and Walter, uh, again, temporary talent. How much, how do you plan the work uh, in such a way that the planning doesn't take up so much of your time? Because these are people who are coming in and out. They don't necessarily understand what your processes are, what your expectations are. How do you plan your work so that you don't have to re-communicate all of that every time uh, you're working with someone new? Or plan their work, sorry. Okay, okay. so we, we usually start with the simplest stuff, like the, administ the administrative stuff, like editing the podcast and all that. Then slowly, we'll try to get them to get this is one particular area, but we have to we have to spend the time to train them. But you know, we we'll just get them to do small things first, and that's sort of. <coughs> it also says how responsible they are. If they can't handle the small things. We won't be giving them anything. Major, you know, so yeah, so that's how. Yeah, you just want to We do a lot. We don't, yeah, no time to teach. But well, you guys make time to teach. <laughs> you make, we make time to teach. I mean, because we have, we, we work in different cells, right? Uh, different shows, so we have our own team. So we've got a team of three, four people. And so we all take turns teaching them. So we try to get them. But we always get them to do the small stuff first. And like, if they can't handle small stuff, we're like, when, when are they leaving? And they just, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Um, yeah, I, uh, it's, Basically the same thing, like they give them a small task first and because it's freelance you're not really uh, attached to working with this person, you're not going to hold them a, a contract or anything, that's why I, part of the reason why I still work with freelancers is because you know, it's a mutual thing, they can say goodbye from day one to, to from the day one day to the next, you can do the same thing, I will never do that and I make that very clear to them as well, and, you know, and it's usually in the contract as well, but uh, in the beginning I always say okay let's try this out for, for, for one month or for the duration of how much time you think that this small piece of work will take and then during that time I'll figure out all the things that I talked about in my presentation if that is all matching then we move on and then usually I don't have to worry about any of it anymore um, uh, I forgot. Okay, no mind. <laughs> time for one last question anybody yes yes so uh, this question is between that so for all intents and purposes you're a celebrity okay. but you're on radio and on TV so I was thinking, um, do people notice you? Okay. Uh, because of how old you are. <laughs> uh, for people of a certain age, they will remember me from the Jubilee days. For up life after Astro, people who were born after Astro, they would not know me, but then they would recognize me. Oh, you're not the same. I don't know, maybe they would see me on Facebook or whatever. I'm sorry, but I thought you were fancy stuff too. Uh, yeah, people say that too sometimes. Again, some people will not know what she is. I tell you, I'm very ignorant about this. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do again? <laughs> Anybody like really really want to ask a question? No one? Oh, okay. Last one. 
Instead of uh, choosing specific possi possible clients and going after them, I, uh, I prefer doing uh, what I call more like broadcasting, like uh, blogging, uh, uh, social media, um, speaking at events. You know, and right now I've got my name out to 160 people. You know, <laughs> it's a good way to get your uh, um, your name out. And, to spread the name of your, uh, of your product. So you know what, it's like more about how to get yeah, broadcast, how to get broadcast oh, marketing yeah, so than specific like, chasing a client. That's a good question. I'm curious though, like, like Frida, like BFM, do clients queue up to you guys or you gotta still, you guys oh, still gotta go, you still gotta, still go still gotta, still gotta go Of course, of course. Yeah. You know, I mean, there was one time in the early days when someone asked me, so what is the revenue model at BFM? Yeah. I said, what do you mean? He said, we don't hear any ads. I said, no. <laughs> So, yeah. of course, of course. It's uh, yeah, a win because people think that there's no ads. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, we want more, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you still have to, you still have to. And it, it's very different, again, because when, <coughs> conventionally when you talk about other radio ads, they can say, we're nationwide, da, da, and then we have to tell them, well, it's not nationwide, we're online, but it's a different audience. So, mm -hmm. it's a lot more work trying to explain what we do. I think it's, it's the events, really. I mean, like when we're talking about networking, that's how you meet clients. Mm. Because, like, let's say with me, I'm in my chair right now. We have our set of clients. But when I go to these events and I meet new people, they actually ask what you do and they get interested in what you're doing. They want your business card and they contact you and ask you to come in for a pitch and so on. Mm. We've actually got a lot of new clients that way, mm. or potential new clients. If you ever think about leaving the company and starting up your own, you've got the network. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, please give. We're not, we're not, we're not pro. I mean, I'm not pro. You know, um, semi-pro. Uh, we we want to, we really do want to try to keep things uh, relaxing, uh, casual, and stuff. <coughs> so, if, if you guys, I mean, 150 of you guys, it's, it's going to be tough to find speakers that will appeal to all 150 of you guys. Uh, but again, if you tell me, or you go to Facebook and you share and say, hey, we, 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 we need more help with this, we need. You know, somebody who teach stuff like this and so on and so forth. We, the whole webcam, uh, all of these are all on board and I'm also like, I'm practically stalking the Facebook group as well. Like, I get a vibe, people talking to me. Again, a lot of people were talking to me and saying, oh, I really struggle with networking. I really struggle with socializing. I really struggle. Like, like there was somebody specifically who actually asked me like, oh, how do I get uh, get interviewed at BFM? So I was like, I, I don't know. So I brought Frida here. I saw how to get an interview at BFM. So if, uh, so if, if somebody wants to get into the BFM, do they come and like swarm at you right now? <laughs> okay. How do you prefer to be? No, no, I mean, <laughs> sometimes it's not me, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it may not be my show. So the best thing is we've got an angle of who you want to reach. Send it to producers at bfm.my. There you go. Right? And then what happens is that all the producers will actually look at it. <coughs> oh, we'll take this story or we'll take this story. So if you don't know which show or which uh, segment you want to be uh, uh, to be interviewed on, 
which you should, <laughs> you know, if you've done some research. But anyway, uh, then my show is Enterprise, and you know, my, that's, the, that's, the tech, yeah. that's the tech show. But if you're not too sure, because we have all kinds of shows which you, you'd be surprised, someone look at it, no, I never thought of you know, that angle. So send your producers at bfm.my, and someone will look at it. So there you go. Yeah. How many of you are startups, entrepreneurs, hands up? Cool. How many of you need to be on BFM radio? Like, obviously, so now you know. Producers at BFM. Producers at BFM.my. My show is Enterprise And you guys are looking for something to talk to. We're looking for something. We're looking for these stories, right? And then we want to talk to you. Open to sharing. Open to talk about your. You know, when we hear stories, like we don't like to sugarcoat it and say, "Oh, it's so fantastic." Talk about the pains. Talk about the people who like hearing that because they need to know. They're not the only ones struggling, so it's a great human story. So be prepared to open. I know some, you know, you get people say, "Oh, everything's good." It turns me off, you know, uh, because you're not real, right? So, so keep it real. Keep it real. Um, and then another one that so so obviously stop asking me how to get on the <laughs> <laughs> Um And things. all this information is on the website, you know. Shame on you. Lazy, lazy web. web. Webcam has trained a whole bunch of lazy people to post on the webcam. <laughs> Ten answers are here. Let me uh, spell that for you. Um, then of course, obviously there's a lot of people who ask, uh, ask me like, oh, you know. No, sorry. There's a lot of people who are trying to hire people and come and straight, I mean, okay, kudos for coming straight to me and say, hey, I need you to hook me up with people. Uh, but honestly, I don't know everybody here. And, 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 and there are people who are just really just somehow socially awkward, but somehow they're not awkward. Maybe because maybe I'm on stage all the time and I project myself as you know, not okay. I'm cool, I'm very short. And you're not cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not cool, so I'm not cool enough, so they come talk to me. So that's all right. Um, yeah, so they come and 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 and, and, and you, you know, I asked them, I asked them, I, 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 sorry. I asked them, that was a radio fail, right? Yeah. So I asked them, I'm, I'm working on it. So I asked them, like, so, so do you? Did you mingle? Did you did you hang out with the with the group here? Did you did you did you talk to three new people? And then they're like, oh no, no. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So you want me to just network for you? Outsource the Chinese guy. Yes, exactly. Outsource the Chinese guy. So I find that the level of socializing and networking here, I mean, not, not just in webcam, but in general, like people go to bar camp, people go to all the, there's so many free events going on right now. And honestly, if you don't set a benchmark for yourself to say that I want to meet three new people and find out what they do, then you're really just going there and wasting your time. And that's why in, in webcam, the culture, the tribe, uh, the, the, the information which I project to you guys is that your time is valuable. Everybody's time is valuable. Make the most of it. And uh, Let's, let's, let's enable you guys with all the tips on how to you know, approach somebody, talk to them, how to do the act. Starts telling you, oh, I, uh, I, I don't know, I'm trying to find something really lame. <laughs> but I find a lot of things interesting. So. <laughs> uh, how do you make Marinda polite? You know, for <laughs> themselves just by networking and knowing people like like like, like what uh, just you know saying a lot of the top level people is because they are just good at networking uh, you never know who you might just meet uh, and, and here's a true story so uh, I'll, I'll share with you guys and, 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 and what, what happened is that my value two years ago we got slapped by Google uh, we buy a lot of ads on TPC uh, we are actually the number one PPC ad spender in Asia but Google changed their search algorithm and they slapped everybody uh, in, this, in this particular space. We do internet marketing, if you don't know. Uh, and, and we got slapped and, and, and we tried to you know, fix things and stuff, but it was tough. Uh, and, and my boss, Vision, uh, basically said, okay, we need, to, we need to get to know Google. We need to, we need to have a relationship with Google. Uh, and, 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 and he basically set the target. I need to talk to somebody influential and powerful in Google. So he went to a Google event 
and obviously there was like the head honcho, right? Uh, and, and a lot of people were, you know, trying to talk to him. And Vision naturally also tried to try, 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 try to approach there. But instead, somebody uh, who was at webcam, who happened to be working at Google, uh, recognized Vision, and he just went to talk to Vision. And Vision didn't know who he was. Uh, he looked like an early Chinese fellow, right? Uh, and, and he called him out by name. But Vision is, is a networker. You know, and he was like, oh, hi, how are you? And, 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 and he had a conversation going on and stuff. And again, same thing, being ignorant, didn't know who he was and stuff, but was genuinely interested and stuff and so on and so forth. He left a really good impression with this guy and he said, hey, you know what, I actually work for Google Malaysia. Uh, if you want, I can, I, can, I, can, I can set up an appointment with you. Uh, that is the essence of networking. That is, the, that is, all, that, that is what it's about. It's not, I'm the CEO, you know, and I need something, I just want to go straight to you know, somebody else, but it is through the networking and just somehow here at webcam is where all the dots are. It's up to you to figure out how it's going to connect to make you successful, to solve your problem. Really have anything else. Characters, characters, characters drawn, drawn original or copies? Uh, usually um, original, either comic book characters, if we know who the, um, they don't, we don't do manga, yeah. sorry. <laughs> um, no oh. porno, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, we've had the request before. You just killed two of the things already. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so do contact me. You can come up to me afterwards or on the Facebook group. You can have a look at his um, portfolio if you want. But I said Sheldon, I asked you to go. Sheldon. You're going to buy a bus and don't Sheldon Go. Sheldon Cooper. Sheldon Cooper. DA Portfolio. DA Portfolio. Hey, hello, Sheldon Goal. Dot. I'm sorry, I'm being very mom-like. Sheldon Goal. Dot. No, not that one. Dot. Da. Portfolio. Dot com. Can you spell mine? And he, and he does draw comics that are published in America. This is, um, this is, this is one of his commissions that he did. I said comics. <laughs> 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 There's various sketches. Yes, opposite the So if you're building any iOS games, or, uh, yeah, I knew how to do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> now you know you don't have to go to Europe and China. So also, if you guys need storyboarder, illustrator, writers. Go local. <clears throat> awesome. And uh, help feed my three children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Anybody else would like to come up here? Yes. Ka ladies first. Yes. You can stay there also. Okay. okay um, hello, everyone. My name is Michelle. Hello. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Uh, I'm a designer. My background. And one You're hiring. <laughs>
Hack Weekend is, yeah, it's a full time, all of these positions are full time uh, positions. Uh, some of you who have seen Do Something Good, uh, the volunteer platform that we're building, uh, we, we can contract someone for that actually at, at this point to help, you know, build it. So that, can be, that can be part time. Uh, what's the remuneration like? Uh, industry standard. Email. I don't know, we talk. We, we, yeah, it's competitive. competitive. Email. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Yes. Hi, uh, my name is Somi. I'm the founder of Brand Geeks Inc. Uh, Michelle, we need to talk because I'm looking for designers. Um, okay, but, designers. Yeah, but uh, my real question is, uh, I'm going to put a question on what camp uh, the, the wall. Uh, I would like to know, uh, uh, compiling a list of what uh, Malaysian entrepreneurs say, shit Malaysian entrepreneurs say. I'm not say shit. <laughs> so, if you could put it on the wall, <laughs> compiling it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make a video out of it. Oh, you have a video out of it? Yeah, shit try Malaysian so. Shit Malaysian entrepreneurs say. We should call it shit, we should call it fertilizer. We need to be with it. We need to be with it. Yeah, um, so we uh, actually uh, start up, um, well, we just started, so the planning is all on the way right now. And now, uh, well, I've got four, three other business partners right now, and um, we are really business partners, including myself. The last time I did programming was like, what, 10 years ago? So, um, we are in the midst of looking for a partnering up with someone who is very technically savvy, especially in the web area. So, um, if you guys are open to, you know, startups, and if you want to partner up, let me know. Uh, we don't have massive funding. As you know, Cradle Fund and everything is there, but uh, it's difficult to reach out to them. But uh, we're going to try and self-fund ourselves and try to get more investments out there. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, if you're looking for an interesting opportunity to partner up with, uh, you know, a very interesting startup, uh, you've got an interesting business model that may capture the market. So if you're keen, let me know. I'm around. Uh, <laughs> it's, um, well, the only thing I can say right now is that it's similar to Muda. Uh, we are going to head on, you know, there wouldn't be a competition for Muda or mine. So, um, so if you're keen, let me know. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Eric and I am from Tico Media. Uh, we are from Singapore, but we are also in uh, Kuala Lumpur as well. We are looking for PHP developer, especially those uh, who are good in WordPress. Uh, we uh, have already have uh, the Asian parent.com, which is big in Singapore. And uh, we, the Asian parent.com. The largest oh, parent thing. Asian parent. Asian yes. parent. Yes. yes. I, I use that. Oh, yeah. you yeah. use that? Okay. Thanks. So, uh, we also have uh, the Asian parent in Malaysia and Philippines and Thailand and so on. And uh, we are having um, exciting uh, big projects coming. So, we are lo we're looking for, uh, for someone senior or junior developer to help us with. Uh, Renovation will be competitive and we can talk about it. So, let me know. Uh, contact me. PhD and WordPress. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello everyone. So yeah, you know me. I'm the car. First entry line, ah. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I, I run Aman Dubai, what people call TechCrunch in Malaysian language. I have uh, 150 k thousand, 150 k monthly visitors and half million page view. However, this month. We only have like 400k page view. So what I really need, you all startups. So send your startups updates to us at amazon.my. A-N-Z dot my. Yeah, media at amazon.my. PR, 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 Open up the website lah. Yeah, I want, I want music stories. stories. I want stories. I want interesting stories. Let's see that. You want us to write first or you write first? You can write in English. Uh -huh. We will translate to BM. Okay. Awesome. So, so what's your email? Media at Amazon. Okay. Hey, you know me.
what jumps and causes. So if anything goes going to take the environment right now. So if any of you can teach things like what transpiration. <laughs>
<laughs> old enough, old enough. So I'm reaching there, okay? And I have to accomplish this. And what I want to do is I want to bring Santa Claus back to life. Okay? Now this is really tricky because a lot of people don't believe in Santa Claus, okay? And people think it's very uh, religious centric. But I'm trying not to make it religious centric. My goal is this. Where I'm going to try to start a cause where I want to get people to give gifts to complete strangers. Okay? And to sign it off as from Santa or something. Okay? And this is going to be a cause which I'm going to be pushing to get uh, different organizations, different people to help give gifts to people that are in need, mainly orphans or such. Okay? And these are random gifts. But it's not going to be just like a company giving a. a Oh, here is a nice check, or here is some tidbits and whatever. The goal is to also cater it for that specific person. It's about linking the right gift to the right kid and really targeting for that kid as a real life Santa Claus. And I, what I want to try and build is an engine that can support that. So if anyone would like to contribute their time, because unfortunately I have no budget and I don't think anyone's going to give me money to do a startup, but if they do, fantastic. I'm always open to that. You know, so if anyone would like to you know, work together with me on this idea, let me know. We have about 10 months till Christmas. <laughs> so that's the deadline, okay? Hi, my name is uh, Chi Ming. I'm just helping a friend to uh, plug their uh, web service. It's called Codility. I'm not sure how many have heard before. Basically, uh, there are a lot of people here who are looking for PHP programmers and all these kind of programmers. So how do you know whether they're good enough? So basically, um, you know, you spend a lot of time trying to figure out who's good and then you interview a few people. And that process could be a bit slow. So what we do is, uh, there's a system, it's web-based. Uh, it supports like many, many different languages and there are a lot of problems. So you just have to give them a link, they fill out the problem, and there will be a very... Uh, Oops, sorry. Uh, the report will tell you whether this person has uh, passed the test, so to speak. And basically you save time, you only interview a few people, and... Um, uh, yeah, let's go next. <laughs> basically you just have to interview a few people, thanks. And yeah, you save time. So uh, basically, it supports this kind of different languages. If you want to find out more, um, just talk to me. Cool. My Twitter handle. Thanks. So, and, 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 and do you charge for this service? Yeah, it's, it's a subscription-based service. Subscription-based service. Yes. How much is it per month? Um, it's on the website. It's so on the website. You can check it out. No special, no special offer? Uh, we can work that out. Because, uh, but I'm just helping. It's not my startup. It's just oh, helping okay. a friend to plug it. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're going to tell your friend about the networking. Yeah, he's in, they are based in Poland. So, Poland. Yeah, so they can't oh, Thanks. Anybody else? Yes, Brian. All right. Um, so I'm Brian Ritchie. Uh, recently, I was in Mindvalley. Now I'm doing my own gig. We are looking for a web designer. This is not a position full-time. This is, I'm looking for a freelancer. 
with a position uh, that if the project goes well, and we have a couple of other test projects, if that goes well, we will get you on retainer, actually. So uh, if you're a freelancer, you do web designing, you don't need to be very strong in the implementation portion. We've got really good people for that as well. Uh, what we need is a design person who can actually communicate. Uh, so if you are interested, you have the bandwidth to actually work with us. Uh, Come talk to me because I want to actually talk to you as well as, you know, see if you can communicate with me, I can communicate with you if it works. Uh, obviously, it's most important. So definitely come chat with me uh, after this or, you know, I'm on the Facebook group as well. Quick house check, quick house check. How many web designers are in the house today? How many people need web designers today? Okay. Three and three. Yeah. Anybody else need help? Calling once, calling twice. Yes. Master. That's right. Yes, we have an idea of a project. Once we have uh, a mobile app developer, I'm not sure whether someone is coming with a uh, mobile app developer. App developer. Mobile 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 app developer. smaller meetups, basically tailored to different types of demographics, like for example, for entrepreneurs or startup people, he's formed a, a, a group called the Open Coffee Club. How many of you know about the Open Coffee Club? Yeah. Wow, shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you still recording? <laughs> one more time, one more time. <laughs> Open Coffee Club members. Okay, uh, how was the first meetup? Is okay? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is a meetup mainly for startup or founders. Right? Probably in Rob's job here, right? Uh, for some of the founders, uh, we go there and network, and you can obviously go there and sell your services and stuff and get brutally honest feedback. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. And it's all about getting things done faster. Yeah. And it's like, without, it's like, as lean startups, it's like, we do need to help each other out. It's like, we, it's like we want business to go around so that we support each other and everything. So, if you want, if you are just one of those shy guys who just want to stay at back at the corner, this is the time where you can have a very cozy environment for you <coughs> to mingle with each other and everything. Yeah. Next meetup is at 6 uh, March. Uh, there, there will be next Tuesday at the Cafe Barbara, nearby, right there, right? Yeah, which is nearby. So, quick question, how many of you are interested to join the Open Coffee Club? It's not already in. Okay, talk to him. Okay. The other thing that we are doing and trying it out is something called the Mastermind Group. Uh, ultimately, it's just, again, a bunch of people who say, "Oh, I want to, I want to work in an environment where everybody is accountable." You come, you come to a mastermind group, and you basically share what your goals are, and you basically have a team. You basically have a small group of about what, four or five people, uh, six, six people. We will, he basically again, Sabu has taken initiative. Please give him a round of applause. <laughs> um, he's doing it for you guys. He's doing it for the community. Ultimately, he's getting a team of five or six people accountable to each other and basically you all cheer each other on and have a sort of like a mini uh, a group of people that you can bounce ideas off and it's, it's, it's structured to basically come up with solutions 
So if you are somebody who's just looking for somebody to listen to your voice, sorry. If you're just somebody <laughs> who just want to go there and then rant and bitch and whine, sorry. This is going to be very level, pretty much level, very level four, level five. You basically come together and say, I need to do this, I need to achieve this. You join this mastermind group. You are more than welcome to join more than one mastermind group. The structure of this mastermind group is that you basically say who you will facilitate the speed dating, meet up together, everybody introduce each other, right? And then you see whether you've got connection, not the chemistry, or not. can you help each other? So you meet up one, one, one more time, meet up another time, if you've got connection, got connection lah. If you've got no connection, then it dissolves, and then a new mastermind group keeps on coming. The idea here is to just get you guys to meet more people, right? And get to know them a little bit better in a small group of five or six, rather than 150 people is a bit daunting, and then uh, so mastermind group, chat with Segway is also posted on Facebook stuff. Who is already in one of these mastermind groups? Two. And one, two, one, two, three. Okay. How many of you are interested? Uh, and obviously there's, there's a bunch of who are like signed up. Who's interested in this mastermind group? Okay. Well, again, like I said, uh, you need to be very clear about you are there to achieve something, to solve something, and to also help other people. Uh. Not just you go there and somebody cheer you on. Uh. You also need to cheer people on. You know, that, that's how the mastermind group format works. So, it's going to be very transient, as in like, we are expecting, come, don't like each other, go away, come, go. So, you need to be semi-committed to hopefully find your uh, dream partner or you know, your co-founder or whatever. Okay, cool. And we are also doing something called a co-working session on Sunday. Uh, synergistic with Mastermind Group, but a bit more open-ended. Uh, basically, on Sunday, uh, Sehui and Tristan are helping to facilitate, basically making this office space, well, not the entire office space, uh, the brain room area, for you to come in and, and, and basically get something done. Whether it's to code something, to finish something up, uh, or you know, if you're an entrepreneur, you're going to come in for a day. Uh, the format, it works is that you come in in the morning. In the morning. Uh, no, uh, it's 2, two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it's a bring your own project bring event your own project. where yeah. Yeah, it's like you, you have something you want to do, just bring it here and at every session we will try to ask you what you want to do and what you want to achieve and we will check in on you kind of thing and if you meet, have faced any problems you just voice it out and yeah, it's, it's, a, I say it's a co-working session yeah. where everybody tries to support each other and getting things done. So originally it was called a hackathon because the format was similar to hackathon but hackathon means that you can come and program something, We are not. it's not it's not specifically for programming. It's, that's why it's called co-working heroes. Yeah. The whole idea here is that you have a weekend project, you want to hang out with a bunch of people who are also trying to achieve something and get something done, you probably can get something done better if you've got a whole bunch of people who are like supporting you and you're out of you know, uh, your PS3 or your children <laughs> and stuff. Or an after one, two o'clock onwards. This, this uh, Sunday? Uh, yeah, this, this Sunday, Sunday we will have. Again, follow the Facebook group page. Again, all these events, <coughs> community driven, community supported. If nobody's interested, we don't run it. As simple as that. Right? Uh, sorry, one more thing, huh? And if you like what we are doing here at WebCamp, we are always looking for volunteers. And volunteers meaning just share your expertise, just share your five minutes, share your ten minutes of, of valuable time, share your connections with us. If you know somebody famous or you know somebody who is very good at a certain particular skill, we would like to find out whether they would like to come and speak at WebCamp. So uh, we are looking for volunteers like this. Uh, also. Generally speaking, helping us usher people here. Uh, again, we, there's, there's just a few of us, there's just one of me. Uh, new people are coming all the time. We need people who can connect with them and share with them about webcam, tell them more about webcam and have a, a meaningful conversation with them and basically do the, hey, you, you are this person, you are that person, connect, connect people together. So that is the type of volunteers we're looking for. Not too much commitment, it's not the main game. Uh, if, if you are really committed, uh, we also want people to help us facilitate those open open coffee clubs. Yes, uh, we, we, will help us facilitate the, we will provide training. Uh, yeah. And there are obviously some side perks, but I can't really uh, uh, the, the side perk is that, uh, <laughs> just a bit of backstory is that I, I'm the very shy person. You can see that I was like always at the right corner recording videos and everything and not coming out. And it's the best way for you to get friends. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, mastermind group, uh, open coffee club, and co working session is set for you. Please keep <laughs> Steam LAN party soon, if you're interested. Steam. 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 Steam, man. Oh, Steam is basically a gaming engine that you, you guys normally play, Counter Strike, uh, Left 4 Dead, and stuff, stuff like that. There's a group on the on Facebook. 
And last year I wanted to run a week, run a yes. run a land party, but I got hooked up with another weekend we run. So another weekend will be in a couple of weeks time. If you want to join, I'll post out the group on Facebook group, and you guys can come in and you know have fun. Okay, quick pause check. How many of you know what Steam is? Right. Okay. How many of you want to? How many of you been to run party? Run party. That's exactly what I'm uh, Left 42, come to strike, stuff like that. Can they do it here? Yeah. Yeah, they want to do it here. Please don't destroy the whole. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll project like somebody plays and then we we'll project the final fight. Oh. Oh. Headshot! <laughs> <laughs> That'll be mine. Uh, whether that spins off into something else, community, I don't know. It's up to you guys. Again, same thing. Uh, Steam community. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and finally, sorry, I keep saying finally. Uh, one last thing is uh, Tristan is starting a new community. Uh, he's already spinned it off. IXDA. How many of you know IXDA? From IXDA. Okay. Uh, so it's a, a, a more specialized slash professional. I hate the word professional, but basically it's a bit more focused about it. Uh, Interaction Designers Association. Uh, it is a it is an international organization. It's not as Chin Chai as webcam. Uh, but we hope to bring it to Malaysia and sort of like offer a bit of like a, a, a professional. Recognition, so to speak. Uh, one of the goals is that we're going to get interaction designers on the on that registrar, uh, and basically hold web designers, interaction designers accountable for one another. The idea here is that there's too many stories of oh somebody just calls himself a UI UX guy and then he's doing crap crap. Uh, one of the one of the purpose of this 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 association is to make sure that if you hire an IXDA uh, registered person, you you have you have a certain standard or certain quality that you can you can expect. What's the what's the what's what's the overall reason for this thing? is to make sure that our local IX people, the designers and stuff, gets paid what they deserve. <laughs> Let me say so that again. It's barrier to entry, right? Barrier to entry. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, if you believe in that, join us. If you don't believe in that, then continue doing... Graphic <laughs> <laughs> okay. design. Uh, it, is, it is a different type of organization. The whole idea here is, again, just to bring uh, the Malaysian designers slash interaction and UI uh, a level to a whole new level. Cool. So if you're interested, talk to Tristan. He's going to be organizing um, the first meetup uh, and so on and so forth. With that said, be a time. With that said, thank you all very, 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 very much. Uh,